Now to go on to best adaption. Yes, the best adaption. This is from anything. This can be from TV, uh, game, uh, well, not really, uh, TV, book, uh, film. So let's talk about the best adaption, starting with The Walking Dead. This is based off of the comics, not the TV show. And, oh my god, this series is brilliant. Um, yes, okay, uh, not really read much of the comics, but, god, this adaption. Perfect. Really, really good. Definitely captures the mood of The Walking Dead, um, from what I've read. And yes, it's brilliant. It, really good. Definitely worth it. Um, Star Trek. As much as the game is panned and destroyed, one of the best parts about this game was the character dynamics and everything like that. And also, just the feel of Star Trek. It really did feel like Star Trek, this game. Um, despite the fact that they lost uh, the opportunity to give us the Enterprise, we still got a really good Star Trek feel, um, we had the characters, the characters were really good, the voice acting was really good. So, obviously, we're gonna have some fun. So yeah, it's a really good adaption. And finally, this is without a doubt, a really surprising game actually, and that is Amazing Spider-Man. Oh god, this game is good. I don't think Spider-Man's ever had a bad adaption. But this is set after the events of the film. Um, and it's brilliant. It just doesn't really make sense when you compare it to Amazing Spider-Man 2, considering that the Rhino is actually a Transformer. And in this, he's a lizard rhino thing. You decide which one you like best. <laughs> but still. It was a really good adaption, the characters were captured pretty good, yeah, okay, an exception to Gwen, but the role capture was really good. And, yeah, that's it. So, let's now move on to the best voice actor. Okay, okay, if you're going to have a voice actor, you need to have a good one. If you're going to have a story, you need a voice actor. It's pretty much necessary. Usually. If you want your story to be good anyway. So let's talk about the good voice actor. Starting with, because for some reason they are in pairs. Because one can't work without the other. I'm not joking. And that is Troy Baker and Courtney Draper from Bioshock Infinite. These two were just worked really good. Um, you could re You could understand, like, how these characters interacted. Courtney Drift's performance as um, Elizabeth was really good. Uh, I, I, at some point, I even felt that Elizabeth was kind of real, kind of not. I, I'm not saying I'm like getting confused with reality and stuff like that. Would probably feel an argument for why games should be banned. I don't know, but uh, yeah. It's, it's apparently an argument. I'm pretty sure someone will say an argument with that eventually. But this performance was brilliant. I genuinely did feel that um, Elizabeth was a real character through Cody Draper's performance. <sighs> Troy Baker, is there anything he's not good at? He's going to turn into Nolan North eventually. I'm pretty sure about that. He without a doubt will turn into Nolan North. <laughs> um, yeah. We might as well start calling him that. I'm gonna call him now Troy North. No, it doesn't really work. North Baker. <gasps> That's what he's called now. Um yeah, next though, Michael Rooker and Norman Reedus, Survival Instinct. If there was one thing good about Survival Instinct, it was Norman Reedus and Michael Rooker. These two were amazing. The voice acting in this was brilliant. Um, I, I genuinely loved the chemistry between them. You could really understand that they were brothers. Uh, you could feel everything that they were going through. Just through the voice acting. The story wasn't that good. The writing wasn't that good. The voice acting was. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm pretty sure even if I wasn't a fan of The Walking Dead, I would have still loved this 
voice acting. So there we go. And let's finish it off now with the next pair. Sam Worthington and Michael Rooker, Black Ops 2. I, I genuinely loved Sam Worthington in the Black Ops 1 game. But Black Ops 2 is really good. And Michael Rooker is probably one of my favourite characters from uh, the first one. Um, yeah. But um, Michael Rooker... Uh, uh, yeah, if you if you watched my review of Black Ops 2 and watched the films channel, you would have noticed that I kind of was talking about some uh, favourite character. That was my favourite character, Michael Rooker. Just for his performance. It wasn't because of the scripture, it was because it was Michael Rooker and he was playing really well. So that's good. Uh, and Sam Worthington, brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Yeah? Okay then. Um, so let's now move on to. Best gameplay. Sometimes the best thing a game needs is gameplay, and thank god these games did have good gameplay. Let's go straight in with Injustice. Injust injustice. <laughs> you thought I'd get it wrong. Okay, okay, let, let's stop that. This sounds really creepy and weird. Um, yeah. Injustice, the gameplay is brilliant. It's probably one of the best parts about this game. It's, it's, the gameplay is just brilliant. It feels, it just feels really good. Um, it, there's like no stopping or everything. The combat can just flow perfectly. It really works. Uh, gameplay is really good. Uh, next. Amazing Spider-Man. Okay, any game that adopts the Arkham City formula usually is good. And that's pretty much the same with Amazing Spider-Man. The combat is really good. Still it's a bit wonky, but it's still good. Um, and swinging and everything is amazing. It's a lot of fun to play this game. Really good gameplay. And Bioshock Infinite. If people, are, people do say the combat in Bioshock Infinite isn't that good. I mean, as much as I agree, but... It, the whole gameplay is really good, and the combat is actually a lot of fun to play as, especially when you have like the fire bombs. I like fire bombs. Fire, fire, fire! Woo! Just so you know, I'm okay. I, I, I'm just getting excited. Right, okay, I, I do like fire. Fire, 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 fire. Yeah, okay. Right now, that's all from best gameplay. Let's move on to the most repetitive gameplay. Yes, gameplay can be repetitive from time to time, and no more is that the case than in Dead Space. Oh, it's just the same things coming at you constantly. The experiences can be different, but it just feels that very similar each time. Um, it's just not that enjoyable. That's all I really need to say about it. It's repetitive. That's really all I can say for any of them. They're just repetitive. Star Trek, same again. It's just it's the same thing over and over again, and yeah, it's quite repetitive. Um, really all I can say. Black Ops Two would have been on this list, but if it hadn't had such a variety of vehicles, stuff like that, that you could do it. It wouldn't have been repetitive. Well, it would have been repetitive, but it's not. So thank God for that. <laughs> um. So now let's move on to. The best soundtrack. Uh, okay, best soundtrack. I like that, I like music. So let's go straight in with Bioshock Infinite. I love the soundtrack to this. It's brilliant to just listen to. Uh, not only is the music uh, score good, if you want to call it that, I don't know if they call it that for games or not. I know it's called that for films, but maybe not games. Um, but then there's also the remixes from like pop songs and stuff like that, which was really I like that. They had um, well, they had the, the they had they had so many iconic songs, and they just changed it around. And they made it like it was it was really impressive. Actually, I just loved it. That's all I can say about it, it's brilliant, and it's brilliant. <laughs> I 
and justice. Though so, this soundtrack, oh god, it's DC. It's good. It's the soundtrack from DC. Let me rephrase that. It is a soundtrack from a DC game. Okay. And also, if you think about it, DC's music always brilliant. That's all I need to say. Well, almost always brilliant. There are some ones that aren't that good, but yeah, it's good. It's a really good soundtrack. And finally, Star Trek. <laughs> All I can say about this is, it's Star Trek. It's Star Trek. The music in it is brilliant, it makes you feel like it is Star Trek. Because it is Star Trek, and it feels like Star Trek, and the music helps that even more. 